Hey there guys, AJ Valentine here, and I'm here to show you how to modify Payday the Heist and Payday 2. This is the second part of the tutorial that will work on uh, organizing your workspace so that it's easy for you to, to know where you're going, know what you're doing, etc. And it's nice and organized. So, I, for me, uh, the easiest way is to have a folder on the desktop. See, I've got mine up here, Payday Mods. And if you go into you see I've got mine all nicely organized. Payday 1 extracted, which is all the Payday 1 files. Payday 2 mods, such as the colorblind mod. I'll work on more later, it doesn't matter. Audio extracted mods, etc. It's all clean, it's all nice. It's it's easy to follow. You go into mods, I've got finished. Uh, I've currently got none in process. I'll, uh, I'll run through that in a moment. But... Uh, yeah, if I go into finished, you'll see all the mods that uh, myself and others have worked on to uh, to bring to bring you basically. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to show you how to um, properly organize your workspace so that it's easy to work with. Right. So let's say I want to modify the 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 planning phase screen. I need to find the texture that. Um, that it follows. One moment, I just need to try and remember where it is. But it to menu backdrop. Okay, so I got it. It will be the base layer I want. So I, I take the base layer and I will put it in the mods folder. There we go. Got an unfinished folder. I'll slap it in there. But if I've got ma many mods going on at the same time, it's going to get very disorganized. So what I want to do is create a um, just just give it a name like a Payday Two um, Planning Phase Recolor Mod, and that'll do. I slap that in there. Uh, I'll go into how to open up the textures and edit them later for now it's just the workspace so I've made sure I copy and not remove from the initial extracted and copy into wherever I'm working the, the clean workspace now a lot of hassle is caused by not knowing where the files go back once you're once you're coming to install so it's always a good idea to create a text document destinations and make sure you keep a list of where it came from. So as you can see, GUIs, textures, Payday 2, mini backdrop, background base layer. So what I want to do is GUIs and then forward slash. It's got to be a forward slash. The, uh, the compiler, it doesn't work with backslashes. So forward slash texture, forward slash PD2, forward slash menu underscore backdrop forward slash bd base layer dot texture and then in case say I rename this to I don't know base layer green something like that so base layer underscore green I can also add base layer so uh, bd underscore base layer underscore green dot texture and that will tell me where it's come from and what it is now inside this folder so it's nicely organized and you know there's no problems so I'll save that close it off and we're done but what if I want to add more from other folders so let's say I want the CN marker timer. I'll throw that in. Still got to update the, the destinations. So GUIs, textures, PD2, CN marker timer dot texture. And there we go. That's a, um, a properly updated uh, well, almost properly updated 
there we go dot texture and then that will be properly updated with what is inside the mod um, so basically to summarize if you keep a nice clean workspace it'll be just much easier it'll flow you'll you won't have many problems there will still be problems it's a difficult thing to get to grips with but it'll, you'll have a much better time at it you you'll probably enjoy it more it's just worthwhile to take every step into account and to keep everything clean so i've been aj valentine and i will catch you guys next time